Horizon, a magazine of the arts, 1962, March. Yes, we will visit Pompeii. Pompeii, were they naughty or were they nice? Naughty or nice? I don't know. But we may have some clues here. Um, so let's get right into it, baby. Right here we have a rendition looking a bit damaged, in my opinion, looking here at the hind end. Looking burnt, scored out, damaged. The, ma the material seems to be quite cooked out, in my opinion. I may be wrong, but it's a rendition either way. And it's cute. A long-billed stork. And this here is the time of man. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Our time. Not his time. Our time. Now read this. This is ridiculous. Just read this. Once he was thought a fallen angel. Then we found him to be a descended ape. Today, new finds are revolutionizing our ideas about his origins and the growth of that unique great brain which he may yet put to fatal use. That's enough. Right here, not making much sense. We got strands of hair coming from the monkeys, coming from the, the Prometheans and the apes. And we have a big mess right here, wherever the, this proconsul um, had some issues here. And we have the Oreopithecus here. And look at the mess here that happens with, with the man. And this is, be, this is before Adam's apple. This is before Adam's apple. Notice he is not clothed. This is Adam. This is before Adam's apple. So here's our descendants. We come, we initially come from squirrels and shrews and then bigger squirrels, big squirrels and raccoons. They have the old world and the new world monkeys mixed up. I notice here we have an old world monkey looking very ornate and very beautiful here. Look at this face with this ornate symmetrical design. We have a flared tail here at the end like a fox. Beautifully um, uh, tipped with a white tip on the tail and the undercoat is a different color beautifully um and uh, beautifully set just beneath the belly ever so gently ever so gently brushing the branch and it's just a beautiful design an old world design this is what we would expect in the old world here we have a new world monkey so they have them mixed up here in the wrong order first of all and the new world monkeys looking very spindly up to no good eh up to no good, yes, they look sinister, spindly, and naughty. Yes, they do. Now, I believe they have the gibbons and the orangutans mixed up here because I think the orangutans are the ones that look more like men. This looks more like a man here. So I think this is the gibbon and this is the orangutan. So they got these mixed up as well. But notice that we're still all a bunch of hairy creatures from the squirrels and the shrews all the way up until we became gibbons. They have them mixed up here. And then the chimpanzees. And notice this gorilla here. And she's giving us her behind. She's, give, she's giving us her behind because she, she's helping us, really. What would that mean? Her giving us her behind like this. And here we are. Before Adam's apple. Very important. Before Adam's apple. We are not clothed. So we come from... So here's where the mess happens is that... Australopithecines, and then the Java Pickings, and then the Neanderthals, and then somehow, I guess gorillas were a part of that a, a little bit, and Homo sapiens, man. This is Homo sapiens. Now they call us, after Adam's apple, Homo sapiens sapiens, but before Adam's apple, they were Homo sapiens. Moving on. So our family. It goes from the sand shrew here all the way up to, I guess, us. And they forgot the cone heads. Come before us. So, moving on. This artist here, 1920s, I find interesting because I look at these, these um, expressions and I, I don't see anything. Um, I don't see any happiness. Very eerie and a bit creepy so that's why i thought but this is beautiful though look at the tile look at the tile work on the floor for fuck's sake the ground was holy and sacred yes it was 
and this beautiful young woman here laying in the bathtub um, with her beautiful long legs crossed here and her little toesies poking out of the water. Lovely. And look at the tile work on the in the bathroom. Look at the tile work in the bathroom. So I like that one. And notice the beautiful bathtub here. The old world bathtub. But the expressions here are just so bland and stale, dead, spooky, all of them. So who was this artist here in the 1920s? This guy here, he's got a, uh, so he put, he's put his own artwork here of a snowman right there. Frosty the snowman. And you want to know what time it is, baby. It's time to go. You better get up. Time to go, baby. Now. Right now. A memorandum, Hitler with the wings. This was never meant to be a symbol of destruction. Never. It, it never was in the past. No, it was not. And not until said time period did this become inverted, like everything else. But here is Hitler with the wings. Hitler with the wings. And the stars are flying everywhere. That's a Maltese cross. And his little cyborg... Um, Robots behind him here, his little, his little steampunk cyborg robots that he had with him, apparently. Apparently, Hitler had cyborg steampunk robots everywhere, like these guys here. With the tech in the face, with the tech in the face. Steampunk soldiers. So, that's a bit spooky. This right here is a truncated column. Now, with that, now what's that pants on? Well, it's big. It's damaged. Melted, scorched, but completely blown out, blown to shreds. And there's trees growing on top and vegetation eating on the carbon 14, likely. But here's the inside of a truncated column. And notice the build out inside a spiral staircase and the vegetation eating off the carbon 14 in the bricks still remaining at the top. A truncated, a truncated column lying here in its own melt, in its own rubble, still. That's the rest of the building right there that came down. Melted down right here, around the base of that truncated column. These here, 1950s style, um, brutalist type buildings, really. Lots of building projects happened in the 50s, and they did lots of strange stuff like this. So they say, I question if actually some of that stuff may have been just old stuff like this this reinforced concrete um state tourist office building here in italy 1958 i don't know maybe it is they did do lots of strange stuff like this very brutal stuff but i think some of that brutal stuff that very brutalist strange stuff i think some of it some of it not all of it just some of it is coming from the old world Especially when you go like to the east and like China and all those strange ghost cities and, and all that stuff. I think that's old stuff. Some of it. Some of it. That's just my opinion. It's just too strange and too much masonry going on there for nothing. Just give me a break. So this is our artist rendition here of what it was for the 21st century or the yeah, the 21st Century Exposition, whatever that was. The Century 21 Exposition. So the 21st Century Exposition. And this is what they thought it would look like. We do have strange, weird, ugly metal, you know, structures erected like this, but they're not symmetrical like this and, and pretty. They're ugly and offensive, but close. That's close. I mean, we do have strange stuff like that today. But again, look at the time period here with these cars, like 1940s, maybe the 50s. And look at this building. Did they really do that in the 40s or 50s? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I can't put it past them though, because they had the skill and the knowledge. It was just being occulted at this time. It still is today, but... Here's more of that brutal, ugly, offensive 1950s style buildings that went up everywhere. But then here we back it up a bit and we will take it back to 1775. 
This is an artist's rendition. And what it says here is that this forge, with its, with its extraordinary pyramidal smokestacks, was part of an unrealized project designed for a city in France in 1775. Notice we have melt here, 1775. In, in a rendition, we have art, we have melt in the background. And we knew what these pyramids were for, apparently, in 1775, and that they were a technology of some sort for a macro components of some sort here. Like a macro chip here. Look at these, look at these archways here. Holy smokes. Like a big computer chip right here. So they knew what this stuff was. And right here. This is a masonry structure, a home, and no, it is not built with um, with with um, straight angles and such like this. No, this building right here, what it's doing is it's ever so beautifully and slightly curving like such, ever so slightly. Do you see that right here? This whole section right here is curved ever so slightly and beautifully right here. You see that? Let me drop this, see? Just a beautiful design. And the verandas, the wood verandas here seem to be possibly a blander, maybe um, renovation. Usually the old world was a bit more uh, ornate with the designs, but you never know. Not always were they. This right here is some sort of a technology um, cenotaph that was designed for Isaac Newton in 1784. And we got bricks down here in a big entryway, an arched entryway going in onto the structure. Huge bricks right here. I mean, huge brick walls and a big ball. I don't know. And trees growing all around it. Strange. I'm not sure what that's all about. And um, it doesn't give much information. It says Utopia and Daydreams. So this here is a photograph of uh, the, Royal Pavilion, the Royal Pavilion in Brighton, 1815. This was taken in 1815. And that's what the buildings were looking like here in Brighton. And this here, 1861, this was taken. A Moorish design as well. And this is an octagonal house. They call this an octagonal house. It's octagonal. Beautiful balustrade railings. Look at all this column and arch work here. Columns and pillars and pillars and columns everywhere and these arched oh just give me a break what a feat and there's windows in the ground where that not belong as well the structure is buried in its own rubble and debris and likely the, the debris of other buildings too this here is a glass palace it seems to be just the roof of the building to me this is just the roof but um I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Because that would be a lot of building buried underneath the ground, but it could be. It does appear to be just a roof, like a glass roof, but it is a glass palace, a conservatorium of some sort. And yeah, the year 1845. Right there, baby. And some artist renditions. And let me see if I can get a date here. 1798 1798 artist rendition here well they had they had quite the view in mind in the 17 in the 1790s i mean holy smokes that was what was on their minds and this here 
is supposed to be an artist's rendition of some more just crazy structure that they that they wanted to build. Like a big round carousel building here. Look, look, just look at the beauty. And the iron and glass work in here just, oh. That can make someone cry. Look at the glass up here. That's what I'm talking about up here. Look, look at the glass up here. That can make someone cry. That's a lot of work. That's impressive. That's not easy either. Um, and that's a rendition. 1851 Crystal Palace. So that is the inside of the Crystal Palace. 1851. That's an artist rendition of the inside of it. So we will move on to the next image. A Gothic city here. Look at these buildings. 1840. Um, they call this um, imaginary landscape. No, it is not. We have these buildings everywhere still remaining, and this is what the buildings look like and the cities look like in that time period. In the early time periods, rather, not, not 1840, but just take a look here. An entire Gothic city. And while these buildings on top of each other Church upon church upon church, right on top of each other. These are not churches. These are not churches. This city is doing something else. That was the plan. And that's what they were, in my opinion. More strange artist renditions. 1904. They had some pretty... I mean, the stuff on their minds in these early... And this is 1904. And what was on their minds is pretty futuristic and impressive to me. And we see a lot of this stuff actually being displayed. But I find it interesting that the way that they envisioned this stuff in the past was of much better quality. We do now see buildings like this, but not built like with, with these beautiful windows and all this, you know, bricks and all that. We see them made of plywood and and Chinese soft sheep, Chinese plastic hybrid metals and such. But whole different mindset and view in these early time periods. 1907, these are, that's, in, that's from an exposition, that's from the, wait, expo or, I don't think that's an expo. No, it's not. It's just a photograph from Barcelona. Some buildings, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Doesn't it doesn't give much info, except for that it's you know some attempt at some strange architectural style, and just the beauty. Look at the beauty. Nothing like this today. Nothing like this today. Absolutely nothing like this going on today. This is almost spooky. It's a rendition of like a new city, a modern city from the past in 1920. And look at these long, creepy, tall buildings, big straight lines, you know, asymmetrical, creepy. And it's what we have today. They did do this. They did pull this off pretty much. And look at these long, creepy buildings and apartment complexes and high rises where all the gangs took over in the 80s and how hell broke out. You know, it's just, it was the whole plan. That was the plan. Give me a break. And again here, we have buildings like this today, but just not built with such quality as they envisioned it in the past. Because they envisioned our world today. They knew. This is 1914. And this is what they were planning for us in the future. And they did do it, but they didn't do it with such beautiful you know, like, like this, like this beautiful ironwork and such. So you can still see that old world mindset in their, in their, in, you know, in their visions and what they were envisioning. You can still see it, but um, no, these actually turned out a lot worse, which I think is what their plan was. I like this. It looks like it'd be foreign after to me, but it's not. This is actually just a, 
a sketch of the building that was actually real um, after it was built and destroyed. Uh, 1921, here it is. 1955, that's a rendition of it. And to me, it, it just looks inappropriate. I, I, I see what's going on there, but yeah, you can say what you want, but I think it's just a bit inappropriate. I think that's what they were going for. So, Pompey, Pompey, you want Pompey. I know you want the Pompey. So this lady right here, this gal here, those are eggs, they're not boobs. Those are not boobs, that's caviar. So now we know what those are, they're eggs, they're not boobs. So that's gross. Enough with that, so look at the architecture and this beautiful, and it's smoked and it's cooked out and blown out. Look at these columns here, blown out on the colonnade, baby. On the colonnade, baby, they are destroyed. The top here, completely destroyed from the rest of the structure. It's been cooked out and it's down here in the rubble. And, um, interesting. And the horses and the wagons, and these are stagecoaches, baby. Oh no, no, that's a chariot. That's a chariot. But we got melt in the background, and it, they look like buildings. They look like buildings to me, right angles and, and flat roofs and bricks on these buildings. So that's kind of neat. And Pompeii. Notice this. You want to know what these people look like, first of all. Here's what they looked like. Here's who they were. They wore flowing garments. They're on the statues out in front of the buildings. You want to know what they look like. Take a look at the statues. That's what they look like. Here they are. Here they are lying in the mud. And here's their flowing garments right here. Here's his flowing garments right here. Here's his flowing garments right here in his waist. And um, um, again, it looks like more wrinkling flowing garments around, wrapped around her waist right here and around her waist. And that's what it looks like to me. Or his waist. I think I see a beard there on his face, which is creepy. Um, so that's what they look like. Um, are these fake? I think not. Because look, half his leg is missing inside of the melt. In the melt. And it comes back out of the melt again. No, I see his flowing garments. That's who they were. That's who these people were. That's what they look like. If you wanted to know. What and here, see? See the garments. is wrapped around her her elbow, her arm. Or his, his arm, likely. It supposed to be a male, likely. Um, and see right here. And let me drop this. Let me drop this. Same thing here, baby. Boom. Same thing here, baby. That's what they look like. That's what they look like. That's what they were. His garment's still right there wrapped around his hand and his body right here. And, and his arms. That's how they wore their garments. Like this. They were advanced people. Very advanced. And look what they stood on on the floor. Look what they stood on on the floor. The holy sacred tiles, baby. The finest of the finest of ceramics and geopolymer man-made stones you've ever seen in your life, baby. I'll tell you what. Look at this. After the melt, and the heat came from the, the heat came from where, the bottom up. Because look at that floor is smoked out, cooked out, damaged, and we know what they look like. There they are with their flowing garments, baby. That's what they look like. Here's their city. Here's the cobblestone road, eh? No, the red brick drive. Red brick drive. Here they were. Were they naughty or were they nice? I don't know. But we have some clues here that may, that may hint us in on, on just what was happening here. Now, now things ain't looking so nice. We got the swords out, or, we, or do we have the swords out? Are we, are we dancing? I think we're dancing. I'm not sure if that's a sword in her hand or not. I don't think. So. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Or a whip. A whip? I don't know. Or technology? Are they holding technology? Yes, this technology. They're holding technology to these people. So they're very advanced people. They're flowing garments. So they have flowing garments. That's who they were. That's who they were. They're flowing garments. And they don't look like they're too happy. And they look like they seem to be knowing of something that's going to be happening soon. Or they're just living a rough lifestyle. I don't know. Something don't seem right here, though. And they seem to be of a different race. This seems to be um, an elf. 
an elf, an elven race. And it's, and it's, they're, they're beautiful. And these beautiful women here, give me a break. With their flowing garments and their stand, and those sandals. And these, and these, give me a break. Here's the city destroyed after the melt. And here they are. Oh no, this is something else here. This is something else here. And we have some letters here. See all these letters? There's a, there's a code in here. There's a code in here. S, M, F, L. There's an L there. Just some sort of a code. No, it's not just the alphabet. Not just the alphabet. It's a code. It's a K there. There's an I. A hidden S. So, that's all those these paintings really are. It's just a code. It's meant to be read, but we're not taught how to read this this language. So to us, it's just a, a painting artwork. This is weird because I'm looking at this right now. I cannot see any strange colorations like this on the, the image itself, on, on the page. It's just straight black. But for some reason on the photograph, it turned out like that. And I don't see any of that. I, don't, I can turn the... Not even if I shine light through it. It's weird. So I'm not sure what that is or if there's something encoded in the paint. I'm not sure. Which is common in old books. So I don't know what that is. And here's what they look like. Here's what they look like. The beautiful hairstyles and these jewels and all this. Give me a break. Yeah, see the flowing garments? And they're flowing garments. And they have a she has a weapon right here of some kind. It would have it would seem. And here's what they look like. Look at these flowing garments, and she's playing a harp. For fuck's sake, playing a harp. That's who they were. Here's their belongings. Look, look at the walls. And you know what? That wallpaper is in fucking destructible. The fabrics they used to construct the, these wallpapers is indestructible. Indestructible. You could damn near wash these walls with a wire brush if you wanted to. And a garden hose and a power washer. And you will not damage these walls. And look at the floor. Look at the wood floor. <laughs> look at the wood floor with the big star with the big star the sun in the middle of it. Holy smokes. They were not messing around. Not one bit. So here's the Pompeians. The Pompeians, and they are looking a bit sinister to me. That's looking very, very sinister and chucky like. These cherubims. Who were these cherubims all hanging around these Phoenician characters all the time? I don't know. But I do know that these Pom Pompeians look a lot like the Phoenicians to me. And I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just saying things, but look at the beauty that they were surrounded by. This is Pompeii, and look at these creatures. They're always sphinxes, and sometimes they're kind of sexy, you know? Sometimes they're looking pretty good. Other times, not so much. These ones have something wrapped around their face. Can't really tell, but, I mean, just weird, spooky, weird stuff going on. Um, and they're always, they're always sphinxes. Or sphinx legs. These are not lion legs. They are sphinx legs. I figured that out. These are sphinx legs, not lion legs. Sphinx legs. Oops, wrong way. And here again. Uh, wait. Okay. So look at this fresco here. Here's what they look like. They're eating fruit. Their children are cherubims. Their children are cherubims. So these are Phoenicians. These are Phoenician with their curly blonde hair, and they're beautiful, and they're gorgeous. Look at how gorgeous. Look at how gorgeous she is. For fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. You know? That's who they were. And they were gorgeous. And they were gorgeous. But they were not up to any good, I don't think. I don't think they were up to any good. This seems like dark magic here. I'm not sure, but it might, I, might be, I might be wrong. But this ain't okay, is it? This ain't okay, is it? 
No, it is not. Enough of that. This ain't okay, is it? Well, I don't know. What? I'm not sure what that is that he got there. That may have been okay, but I'm not sure. It's still not okay to me to ever, to ever kill. It's still not okay with me. You know, just, you know, just be nice. Just be nice, all right? So trumpets, they had trumpets back. Nothing new under the sun. Nothing new under the sun. And there's a fabric over this, uh, or no, is that the fabric of the book? That's the fabric of the book. I was gonna say, what the hell is that weird fabric looking? I think it's the book, wait, let me see here. Is it the book? Maybe it's not the book. Oh, it's the book. And they were gorgeous. Look at the dog. And they were gorgeous. See, with their red, flowing red hair. Are you kidding me? And their flowing garments. So I see Newton. I see Einstein. No big deal. I see beauty in the background. Look at this. Look at this. They're kind of a bit creepy there. I'm not making that symbol right there. But, but this. Look at this here. What is that? With that big urn on top. What is that in there? It seems pretty important because it takes up like a pretty good portion of the room there. What is that? I don't know. Look at their outfits. Look at their outfits. These ornate, fancy people. Give me a break. They're so advanced. With their technology all around them. Look at how real. Look at how real. And just, are you fucking kidding me? These gold chairs, these brass chairs, give me a break. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. No one does that. That's not normal. This stuff just ain't normal, baby. This is, oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna think about doing that and then, and then I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna do it perfectly too and pull it off, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. And they did. Look at the melted bricks. Look at the melted bricks. You can still see them in rows here. And here they were. Red ones, too. Red ones. Look at this one down here. Red bricks. And they are melting mangled out here. Look at this one at the end here. Red brick, red brick, red brick. Duck, 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 duck. Goose, baby. Got a melted brick. Goose, baby, melted brick. Great evidence. And do you think these are Rickety Ann? You think these are Rickety Ann with these fancy hubs and the suspension back here? Give me a fucking break. Look, 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 at this. look at the suspension. How ornate this is. Okay. And you thought these were Rickety Ann, eh? And you thought these were Rickety Ann. This is a sport poop. For fuck's sake. And it's just everything. Higher quality. Higher quality here. Everything higher quality. Better ink as well. Better ink and they can write better too. Look how perfect they can write. They were perfect people. Look at this. Look at this. How does one how does one scribe so perfect? You know. Maybe they maybe they had a lot of time to, to practice. You know? Maybe they had a lot of time to practice. That doors for giants. Doors for giants. Wide open. And here they are. You want to know what they look like. Look at the buildings. Here's what they look oh, for fuck's sake. So they weren't all nice people, eh? So they weren't all nice. Some, you know, you know, they weren't all nice folks, eh? Something, something was going on here. Something was going on here. This was probably a building that I would not have stepped foot in. No, look at the floor. Look at the the holy sacred floor. It's beautiful. And here's what they look like. Here they are on the front of the buildings. That's what they look like. It's a creepy building. And look at the brick ash that he's standing on. Buried the house. Buried the house. It's still in unto the rubble and, and the brick ash. And he hasn't even dug the house out yet. I'm guessing that's his plan. And that's why he is procrastinating here. This, this to me seems like this is procrastination. Do I... Do I build a staircase and have a raised yard stairs going up into the second level, or do I dig the house out? 
I think that's I think that's what we're, we're procrastinating about here. I don't know either, pal. I'd say dig it out. That's what I would do. I'd dig it out. And just just the beauty in the old world. Just all these monks. And more strange color stuff. Different colors on that page. Weird. And we got the creepy black out already. The creepy black outfits come out. And the creepy folks. The creepy folks are out and about. You know, poking around. And we got some female knights. Look how gorgeous. Look how gorgeous. These female knights with this with this flaming red hair. With this flaming red hair. Give me a break. Oh, I love it. Look at that. More female knights here. And just look how gorgeous they were. Look how gorgeous these female knights were. But with their hair. And, um... And these these knights here and wow she's got some big fingers. Wow. Holy smokes. <laughs> wow. She could do some pointing, that's for sure. <laughs> Her fun thing. Oh. So I don't like scenes like that. Um, so she's so they're crowning the queen. They are crowning the queen, and who's crowning her? The coneheads are crowned. Who else but the coneheads, baby? Who else but the coneheads, baby? And lots of women come to pay their respects here. These are all the women, and here are the men. Here's one. What is he doing here? Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know how I got that shot in here. I didn't even... Gee whiz, I didn't take... I didn't remember... I didn't remember taking these ones. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, that was for something else. So they... they um. So... The Nephilim were in the earth in those days, and afterwards, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men and took for each of them wives, each of which they chose, these dirty dogs, right? Absolutely. Dirty dogs. Oh, for fuck's sake. And look what was happening in the past. We have all this ornate beauty just surrounding us here. The, the unicorn, the, the beauty everywhere. All this ornate ornamentation and beauty. And the creatures. What's up with the strange creatures in the past? They were everywhere. And it was normal, you know, it was it was just normal news. It wasn't no big deal, you know. Love you all. Take care.